plans for redevelopment are widespread. Spectacular plans for the new Prudential Center. And along with these, new hospitals, schools, churches, apartments, and homes. Here we see the renaissance of Greater Boston, built not only for our time, not only for our way of life, but for a future time and a future way of life. Good evening. I'm Arch McDonald. This is another in the continuous series of programs presented by WBZ-TV in the interest of a better informed public. Here's a hot potato. Urban renewal. You'll discover it's downright explosive. Blight can spread faster than new suburbs can be created. Just imagine the frightening possibility. Charlestown, Roxbury, and the South End as the wastelands, and Brookline, Belmont as the slums of tomorrow. In and around Boston, there are men with vision, with hope. They believe Boston can be on the verge of a dazzling new dawn. That's why they're pioneering new projects, office buildings, government centers, and wholesale urban renewal jobs. We will find the right solution if we have the heart and mind. The Prudential Center and the Waterfront Project will help meet the need for first-class office space. There will be, in all probability, new apartments in the Prudential Center and the Waterfront area. From the construction of new luxury buildings, there should be a filtering down process of good housing. Many people living in what are now the choicest apartments will move into these new units. The older units, still in good condition, will be open to a new group of tenants. With continued inflation in prices and wages, yesterday's luxury apartments built at lower cost can become tomorrow's middle-income housing. At the lower end of the economic scale, the Urban Renewal Program proposes more public housing, some of it specially designed for the elderly. New developments are to be smaller in size so that they can be integrated into existing neighborhoods. The city's housing problem, though, is too vast to be solved by new construction and the filter-down process. Surveys have shown that roughly a third of the city's residential units are substandard. Half are in slum-threatened areas. The fact has been recognized in Boston's bold urban renewal program put forth by Mayor John F. Collins and his development administrator, Edward J. Loeb. Their program calls for an attack on blight, not just in a few scattered sections, but throughout the city. The tragedy of today's city is not one of outlived usefulness, but untapped potential. What is there to justify the vast expense of urban renewal? The goal is a city that is clean physically and once again strong economically. But it must be more than that. It must still be a city with charm, character, and diversity.